Now, it's different. Um, there, there's certain qualifications, there's certain benefits so, with either or, but it's, al it's always good to, to research before, uh, before applying. Uh, doubting your skills, I definitely uh, doubted my skills. Um, on LinkedIn, there's, there's a section when you apply, it, it shows like how many people are applying, could be hundreds, could be a thousand. Um, people more qualified than you, but you gotta learn not, not to uh, take that to heart. Uh, applying only to agencies. Uh, this is a very big misconception. Um, we're designers. We could find jobs wherever we want. Uh, so not just applying to agencies. You could even apply to corporate. And when to apply. Um, there's a lot of uh, starting points. There's a lot of uh, places that show applications early. Uh, like in early December, you can apply in order to get a summer internship. But like I said, there's companies that open up uh, their, their job postings. So the following steps is uh, my, so process is key. So we have to start somewhere. So fixing your portfolio, or if you actually don't have a portfolio. So this is the, one of the first steps you should take. Uh, Reevaluate your portfolio. If you have one project, you should probably have more. I mean, we're, we're trying to seek uh, internship for the summer, and obviously we haven't graduated yet. So there's probably some things you want to look back into. It. So getting feedback with, uh, with certain creatives, get feedback from, from anyone, really. Double check and triple check. Um, so this is very important. Make sure nothing is misspelled. Um, I actually applied to, to, uh, to a couple of places and I realized that I didn't really spell a certain word correctly and I obviously didn't hear back from that, so that's probably one of the reasons why. So definitely make sure to double check and triple check. Uh, having a mentor and partnership is very important in this process. You need someone that you can confide in. You need someone that can help you along the way. So alumni here, Rich Arnold, works at Vine. Uh, he's a lead product designer. I sent him my portfolio and he was, uh, I was thankful enough for him for actually looking at my portfolio and giving me critique on basically everything on my portfolio. So I took that feedback and I, uh, I basically reflected that on my portfolio. My cousin, Annie Hathaway, she works for MITRE, and she's a senior UX UI designer. She's actually opened up my eyes into where should I apply. Um, she told me that corporate is a very big upstanding, so you should definitely look into that. And then as we all know, Mitch DeCastro is a student here. He actually secured an internship at Aardvark Brigade for the summer. We're, we're all very happy for that. Um, we. We basically uh, jumped ideas off each other. It was very important, like I said, to have a partnership in this process. So fix your resume should be the next step. Uh, market yourself, make sure to market yourself. Do not come off bland in your resume. Uh, you know, resume, it's, it's very straightforward, but make sure to use use some words that that just basically like, would, like pop out. So talk about your previous experiences. They're, they're looking for that. They want, they want to see that you've uh, worked on a certain project, worked on a, a certain um, logo, worked with other people, collaborated with other people. That's what they're looking for. And like I said, use keywords to stand out. So there's actually a, a snapshot of my resume. Uh, one, one of the first places there on the top is uh, some place that I'm currently uh, interning for. And like I said, use keywords to stand out. So basically collaborating, uh, social media campaigns, these words, these phrases pop out more often. So next step, research internships. Now this, this stage could take a while. It took me weeks on end. There's, there's, so, many, there's so many job listings out there. You just have to know where, where to, to look at it. So um, these, these are some of the places. A creative ham. Designer News, Look Sharp, Indeed, LinkedIn, Creative Circle, and most importantly, networking. Networking could definitely open up a lot of avenues and where where you could uh, find an internship. Cover letter. So um, this could be one of the most uh, painstakingly uh, part of the processes, is actually writing the cover letter. You're probably writing one, you're probably writing 30. Um, so research before writing is very important. You can't just 
right? And then just to expect a, a, a word back from, from these places, you need to put your heart and soul into, into this. So be familiar with their work. You might want to research their work, might want to put a couple of projects that you liked on there. It shows their interest, shows that you're interested, shows that you're a team player. And be happy and motivated. Um, like I said, they're going to be reading thousands of these. Uh, one, once they look at it, they just don't want to look at it and say, wow, this is just another you know, cover letter. Make sure you're, you're very colorful with your words. Make sure it's flowing. And just be happy and motivated, showing them that you actually want to work here. So sending your info out. Uh, I actually applied to 27 places. And uh, it was just very, very fast really the whole process. So if you're applying and they say to send out an email, keep, your, keep the email short and simple. Like it said, they're gonna be seeing thousands of emails. Um, they don't wanna sit down and read uh, a story basically on, uh, on the email. So very simple as this. Hello, so-and-so team. I would love to intern for, for you during the summer. Here's my link to my portfolio. Thank you for your time. Very uh, short and simple, in and out uh, process. So, you've been summoned. So this is the part where hopefully somebody has got back to you and if they didn't, you know, just keep trying. You know, it's very, we're all designers here. It's uh, thousands of people are probably applying to the same place. Uh, like I said, don't take it to heart. So these are the places that, that uh, called back to me. Safari Sundays, they're, uh, they're small, well, actually, they're medium uh, sized uh, agency and they do branding. It's a very chill down environment. Um, these are some of the places that I'm actually looking for in, somewhere that I could just like call home, like a second home, uh, make friends. Um, and their work is just very, very nice, it's very colorful. They worked on the, the Lace branding and the Pepsi uh, branding for the Super Bowl a couple of years ago with Beyonce. As we all know, Karma Small Agency uh, brought upon our teachers who speak about them highly and I definitely had to apply there and they got back to me. Uh, they're a branding agency and they're roughly a large agency, 23 people plus. Graphics, uh, Ed steer, steered me out of the way here for, for this agency, they're in uh, Manhattan. They do advertising digital work. Uh, studio is roughly a small eight, eight people. And then the last place, uh, Estel Secure. Uh, it's, a, it's a corporate environment, they, they're an investment banking agency. and. Since it's an investment banking agency, they, they wouldn't probably have as many designers, so they, they only have four. 